Okay, this is the all-time questions that people always ask. Why not buy resale instead of new launch as, prices, as, as price is cheaper? All right, do you have the same question too? You all have these uh, questions that is still unanswered. Do you? Okay, okay. And put in the chat, okay? Do you still have this unanswered? Okay, and I, it's my pleasure to answer you this evening. Okay, on uh, this same old question. Firstly, which is more important? Hmm? Is it cheaper, more important, or better prospect for capital gain, more important? Which one? You tell me, which one is more important? All right, all homeowners here. You want to buy for stay? Okay, same thing. Ask yourself this question. Is it cheaper, more important? Or is it better prospect for capital gain, more important? Or if you're not for homeowners, you're not staying, you're buying for investment. It's quite obvious, right? It's better prospects for capital gain. So the current disparity between new home and resale, and we are talking about re disparity because um, you know the question was asked whether you're going to buy resale because new home is priced higher in terms of per square foot compared to resale. So what, how much is the disparity? So if we look at CCR, the disparity is like 36%. Okay, in the whole of CCR, the disparity is as much as 36%. So if we take as comparison 2007, which is the uh, average new sales price in CCR versus the resale price of 2000. Okay, there you go. The disparity is about 36%. Quite a lot of disparity in CCR. But if we look into District 9, we zoom down to District 9, okay? It's like 2006 versus 2001, okay? That is the new sales and the resale. Okay, so disparity is 25%. Okay, and if I were to take a look at the disparity with uh, a Well Hill Residences, which is currently priced as about 2004XX, it's about 15%. Because across the board, all these condominiums that is in River Valley, Luma, Rivia Gardens, Skyline 360 at St. Thomas Walk, okay, uh, Trillion, OUE Twin Peaks. Okay, so these are all the properties, the years of completions is shown in this um, table here. And they are not new, they are resale. And these are their average transacted price record in terms of PSF. So on average, the PSF is about 2,000. So if you based on 2,004, the disparity is about 15%. Okay, so we are talking about River Valley disparity of 15%. Should I buy new home or resale? First up here is you are already advantaged in River Valley. Okay, because in the whole of District 9, the disparity is 25%. And the whole of CCR, the disparity is even higher. Okay, so this is like one of the lowest disparity, okay, in River Valley. So if I zoom in into new condo versus resale property, which one has high capital gain? Okay, I would zoom into properties or condos that is in River Valley area. Okay, let's do this case study here. Okay, the price growth of new properties versus old resale condos in River Valley since 2010. Okay, since 2010, new condominiums is here. Okay. If, you, if, if we go back to the past 2010, these are all the new properties. Okay, there are TOPs is in, uh, for example, uh, Riveria Gardens, the TOP is in 2010. So it was bought before 2010. So it's a new condo during that time. Okay, similarly, Trillion is a new condo during that time. And Luma is new condo also because its TOP is 2011. And OUB Twin Peaks, same thing is new. And Skyline 360 is also new condos during that time. So this represent new condo. So if you buy new condo, these are the one during 2010. But during 2010, if you buy old resale condos, which is like the blue color uh, condominiums here. So Leonie Suites is like 2006. Oh, that is during 2010 is already, uh, since TOP is already four years after TOP. And this is 1993. Obviously, Leonie Gardens is older. Okay. Leonie Tower is 1975. Oh, 
even um, two, three decades older. And then River Jaya. And um, yeah, there you go. So these are the basket of properties that represent new and old. And finally, Yongan Park. Okay, don't forget this. So we have the new properties versus the old resale condo. So what I want to show you is this. Uh, there, is, there is a slight difference here between capital gains for new condos growth versus resale condo growth. Okay, so all, uh, I would say all new and old condos will continue to grow with time and also with market forces. So if the market is hot like right now, whether it's a new condo or resale condo, there is price growth. But the question is, which price growth is more? So we did a study on this, on this basket of new properties and old resale condos. We derived that the new condos have experienced higher growth, 15.7%, as compared to the older condos at 12.9%. So uh, if I put that into a quantum uh, for 2 million condos, the difference could be 56,000. So the answer is um, presented here. Okay, if you want to go for higher capital gain, all right, possibly you can look into condos in River Valley. Uh, the disparity between new and resale condos is also much smaller as compared to District 9 and also CCR.